What is up guys, Nima here, and today I'm going to be installing some running boards on a 2012 Toyota Tacoma. These are some aluminum running boards right here. They're really lightweight. I think they're like maybe 10 to 15 pounds. Um, although they look huge, they're really light. So a really good company called iBoard sent me some running boards to install. I do have running boards on there right now. So these are some running boards I have on the truck right now. They're also from iBoards. They're the, I believe the plastic version of it. So these are the metal versions of the running boards or the aluminum version. So they have the regular version that I have on the truck right now, and these are the new and improved. Um, I believe these are around the $200 range, so if you're looking at buying some, they're really nice, and they're super lightweight. So as you can see, I can lift it up. I think they're about 10 to 15 pounds, they're not too heavy. So for you guys that are saying, oh Nemo, I've never installed a running boat before, I don't want to mess this up. It's super easy. All you need is a 16 millimeter and a 13 millimeter wrench, and you can get a done or a socket, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So they send you a great instruction manual, but it's 2018, and who reads nowadays? So these are pretty much trash. So, anyways, um, like I was saying, time to get to business. I'm gonna show you everything that needs to be laid out and show you guys what goes where, pretty much, like what bolt goes where. So this is everything that needs to be laid out. It's really easy to understand what goes where because you got driver front DF, driver center DC, and then driver rear DR. So with that you got front, center, rear, really easy. So then for each bracket what you'll need is two long bolts, two hex nuts, two lock washers, and two regular washers. Same thing for the small ones. So to make things easy for you guys just go ahead and take a screenshot or pause the video right here and set this exact same pattern up on your truck. Every single bracket as you see all have the exact same thing set up right here. Go ahead and do the same thing on yours. All right, and with that being said, let's go ahead and install the running board now. All right, so I got the GoPro on my head, so I'm gonna have two hands free and show you everything. Go ahead and grab the driver front or whatever you wanna grab first, but driver front and then the smaller bolts. So you got a small bolt, a lock washer, and then the actual washer. Just like that, go ahead and grab these two and let's go to the truck. So now we're under the truck, the front is that way. Uh, these are the two bolts right here. For you, there might be a little nut in here you might have to take out, like a little screw, but take it out, not a problem. So go ahead and line it up with the two holes and put your bolt in, inside, just like that. Alright, and just like that, the bracket is on. Obviously it's loose, you gotta tighten it, but the same thing for the center and rear. All right, and just like that, all three bolts are on, time to tighten it down. So this is where you normally grab your socket and your wrench or ratchet, whatever you prefer to use, and tighten everything up. But because I have a drill, I'm gonna go ahead and make my life easy and tighten it like that. All right, and with the brackets all tight, it's now time to go ahead and install the board. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you grab this little square looking piece and your long bolt, so it's gonna be the long bolts, the lock washer, the regular washer, and then the hex nut goes on the outside. So it's gonna go something like this on there, and then you tighten it from the outside. All right, so I got the board laying right here. It's gonna sit like this once it's fully done. So you grab your little square looking piece and you put it on the inside. These two brackets on the end sit perfectly inside, just like that. So you can move it around like so. You grab your bolt, put it in, and once you put the bolt in, and then this bolt will line up to this hole right here. I'm not sure how well you can see it with the GoPro on my head, but I hope it turned out well. So this is where I get kind of tricky because you don't want the running board to be falling on your head while you install it. So just be careful, take your time. If you want, have someone else hold it for you while you do it. But because I'm home alone, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do it by myself. Okay, sweet. So we got both sides on. That actually wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be a lot worse than that. All right, and with the running boards on there, now it's time to go ahead and tighten everything down. I have a drill, so I'm gonna make my life easy and use the drill to tighten it. But if you don't have a drill, don't worry, a wrench or ratchet will work. All right, so because these running boards don't have torque specs, I'm gonna go ahead, grab my ratchet, and come one round through and tighten it by hand. As tight as it'll go, obviously not too tight where you wanna break it, but tight enough where you feel like, okay, that's enough, you know? Like, it's, it's a weird, a weird middle feeling, but 
you kind of know where it is. So it's tight, 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 and that's pretty much it. You can go a little bit more, but again, I don't want to break anything, so you tight, tight, and that's pretty much it. Same thing for underneath, go ahead, tighten it one last time. All right, and just like that, I got the running boards on there. I am sweating because I do live in Texas and the Texas heat is killer. But don't worry, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick test on it and like stand on it, jump around a little bit and see if it, you know, you know moves a lot, breaks or whatnot and give you guys a review. So let's go ahead and do that. I do wanna apologize in advance that the lighting is really bad. It looks like I'm probably recording this video in heaven. I promise I'm not, it's just super sunny outside. So I'm gonna try to get it the best lighting I can, but these are the running boards. They seem super sturdy. Let's go ahead and step on it and see how it looks. So as you guys saw, there's not much flux in these running boards at all. I mean, they are it's aluminum, so they sound really nice. They're, they're super like high quality for the price you're paying. They line up really well with the step in. So there's the step right there. You step in and go right in. Sorry, the truck's a mess, but overall, these running boards are really nice. Oh man, I am sweating a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and shower and clean up a little bit. These running boards are overall really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and record a little bit more once the sun's going down so the lighting will be better. So you can see an actual close-up look of these running boards and get a nice uh, nice feel for them in a way. Overall, with these running boards, I really like them a lot for the price. You're paying, you're getting a really nice product, and they will get the job done. So if you're looking for a great running board that'll get the job done, it's cheap, and you can install yourself, these are the ones. I'll link them down below. So this is a really good company. I do trust them a lot and do support them because they did send me these running boards for free to do an installation and a review about it. So I have two running boards now. So I might be giving one away, but I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to ship these out because shipping will be very expensive with running boards. So if you do live in the Houston area and you have a 2012 Toyota Tacoma or maybe even a, another model, I'm not sure if it fits exactly, but if you do have a 2012 Toyota Tacoma and you live in the Houston area, comment down below. Um, I have two pairs of running boards and I don't need one of them, so I would love to give one to you guys for you know supporting the channel because I know you support me, I support you. So free running boards for you guys. Go ahead and go in the comments down below and comment down below. Hey, I want these running boards, you know, and we can talk some more. All right, I'm gonna go inside and shower and clean up a bit. I'll see you guys around 5 p.m. when the sun's a little nicer and there's better lighting. I'll see you then. All right, and we're back. So let me show you guys the running boards right here. All right, and there's a closer look of the running boards. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Are these good running boards? Are they not? They look nice. Would you buy them? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.